All right, in this video, this is T's Workbook Hints video number 10, and we're going to look at a work word problem. There's a new update, version 1.7 as of the date of this video, and you can find these new examples in the word problems percent proportions and ratio section. Here's an example. If Chris can paint a house in 10 hours by himself and Patricia can paint the same house in eight hours by herself, how long would it take them to paint the house if they work together? Now, some people would think, oh, let's just take the 10 plus the eight, we get 18 and let's divide by two and it will be nine hours. Well, if you think about it, that doesn't make sense. Patricia can paint the house in eight hours by herself. So if she has somebody helping her, Chris, they should be able to paint the house a lot faster than eight hours. Because again, Patricia can paint the house in eight hours by herself. So it doesn't make sense to take 10 plus eight, which is 18 and divide it by two to get nine hours. It shouldn't take that long. Here's how you want to think about it. Chris can paint the house in 10 hours. If he can paint the whole house in 10 hours, he can paint one tenth of the house in one hour. Think about that. If it takes him 10 hours to paint the entire house, he can paint one tenth of the house in an hour. So this is Chris's rate, if you will. He can paint one tenth of the house in one hour since it takes him 10 hours to paint the whole house by himself. With that in mind, let's look at Patricia. She can paint the entire house in eight hours by herself. Well, if she can paint the entire house in eight hours, she can do one eighth of the house in one hour by herself. So these are rates. This is the rate that Chris can paint the house in one hour, and the same applies to Patricia. To make sure you understand this, if she can paint one eighth of the house in one hour, then in two hours she would be at two eighths, then at three hours she would be at three eighths, then four eighths, five eighths, six eighths, seven eighths, eight eighths. It would take her eight hours at this rate to paint the house, and that's exactly what it says up here in this problem. Now, if they work together, these two rates can be combined. Let's take the one-tenth and the one-eighth and let's add them together. So let's go ahead and find a common denominator for these two numbers. A least common denominator would be 40. 10 goes into 40 and eight goes into 40 as well. 10 times four is 40. One times four is four. Eight times five is 40. 1 times 5 is 5. So the combined rate, if they work together at these rates, they can paint 9 fortieths of the entire house in one hour if they work together. So we're talking about combining two rates. Yes, working together, they should be able to paint more of the house in one hour. But now the question says, how long would it take them to paint the house if they work together? This is how much they paint in one hour. So let's take that rate, 9 fortieths of the house per hour times the number of hours should be equal to one. Now what does this mean? Their combined rate times the amount of time it takes them to paint the whole house. This is equal to one because this represents one entire house. Now we can solve this equation. You can divide by nine over 40 or you can multiply both sides by the reciprocal. All we're trying to do here is get the T by itself. And really all we're doing here, and this is pretty much how you would do every problem like this, you simply get the reciprocal over here. Notice we have nine over 40 and then if we take one times 40 over nine, we get 40 over nine. Now, some of you may be confused here. Why did I multiply by the reciprocal? Well, the 40s will cancel out, the 9s will cancel out. That gives us T by itself. So we get 40 over 9 hours. And while I have you here, 40 over 9 hours, I know that does not sound right at all. But if you take 40 and you divide it by 9, you get 4.4 repeated hours. This is not 4 hours and 44 minutes. And let me show you why. So there's that 40 over nine hours, which represents 4.4 repeated hours. 
So we know we got four hours, but suppose you had to figure out approximately how many minutes we had. Well, this point four 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 repeated represents 44, roughly 44% of an hour. So watch what I'm going to do here. I'm going to subtract that four hours off because we know it's four hours and something. So this represents roughly 44% of an hour. Well, if we take 44% of 60 minutes, this is actually roughly somewhere in the neighborhood of four hours and 27 minutes. 27 minutes is roughly 44% of an hour. Think about that. What's 50% of an hour? That's 30 minutes, right? Well, we're not quite at 50% yet. We're at 44% of an hour, so we should be a little bit less than 30 minutes, and that's why we're roughly around 27 minutes. So with that said, we can say that this is approximately 4 hours and 27 minutes. This is how long it would take them working together. Now I know this problem is tricky because of the way we're setting it up and solving it, but again, back at the beginning, I've seen people where they take the 10 plus the 8, they add them together and divide by 2. There's no way it should take them 9 hours to paint the house if they work together. The whole point of you getting help to do a job is to reduce the time. So by all means, if Patricia can paint the house in 8 hours by herself, the time that it would take them working together should be less than this. I hope that makes sense. And there you have it, a work word problem. This will help you with a few examples in the T's Math Workbook. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. And that's it for this video. I hope it helped.